Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, Trading Card Nation. Today we're going to rip into some 2020 Heritage Baseball and do a little uh, price comparison and an uh, overall review. I've done one earlier, uh, but I did not do a complete review on it. Uh, basically we're going to see what the price point is versus the cards that you get and see if the values, any, uh, which one has a better value. And if you take a look at it on the uh, blaster box, you get seven packs, one extra pack, nine cards per pack, seven two per box. If you're looking for the limited and, and exclusive 1971 trading baseball tattoo. And you're also looking for the short prints, uh, which is numbered uh, 401 through 500. And on the hanger box, <clears throat> you get 35 cards per box. And you're looking for the real one, autograph, and relics. I believe that's really in all the, in every one of the, the uh, packs. And again, the, uh, the short prints are 10, I mean 401 through 500. And then you have the... Some people call them fat packs. These ain't as fat as most of the other ones, and they only have 20 cards in them. And you're looking for the exclusive 1971 Topps baseball scratch offs, which you know I don't, I wouldn't really think that that would put any more value to it. But the uh, the value of the of the blaster box uh, is 1997 <coughs> at Walmart. Excuse me. And it's about a dollar sixty-five in taxes. At seventy-two cars, that's giving you uh, a price point of about thirty cents a card. The hanger box is uh, ten ninety-eight plus roughly a uh, ninety-one cents tax, which give you with thirty-five cards, thirty-three cents per card. A little bit more than the than the uh, Blaster box and the packs don't fare much better. They're uh, they're five ninety eight a pack, and about forty nine cents with taxes added to it, which gives you out of twenty cards, we give you about a card or a price point of about thirty two cents a card. So actually, as far as just straight up price point, the, uh, the blaster box is the better value. You get more cards and less price per card so let's go ahead and get into it let's see what kind of card you get see what the uh, ratio is as far as if you but if you can pull any any type of relics uh or autos um you know a lot of people say you know you don't you're not really guaranteed anything in, in these as far as the autos uh, go or the uh the relics but you will pull them you know i've, I've seen people pull them out of it you know, tops will generally uh, try to fool you sometimes. They'll uh, go get you when you least expect it. Uh, I was pulling a uh, a hanger box of uh, Series 1 tops and I actually pulled auto out of it. So they're definitely there and they'll, you can definitely do it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's turn to these. Start with the packs first. And like I said, they're not really a, a, a fat pack, a jumbo pack. Um, there's only 20 cards, really not much to them, but we'll go ahead and rip into them and let's see what we can find. And we'll go through them pretty quick, seeing if we, uh, if we can find any rookies or short prints out of them. And there's rookie stars for the Royals. Solar, Yelich, Syndergaard, then you get a throwback, uh, Willie Mays, 1970 Candlestick Park, that's a nice throwback card, Tanaka, Pujols, Garber, 
Dixon. And Buster Posey with a bat instead of behind the plate. <clears throat> and Matt Boyd to finish that pack off. And as you can as I said, you go through and you look and see anything over 401 or 401 or higher to 500. And there's a short print right there. Send the guard is a short print. And I believe that's the only short print in there. So basically, you got all base, no real rookies. True rookies out of that pack. And you got one short print and a uh, throwback of Willie Mays. Let's see if this pack might do us a little bit better. Redick, Yarborough, Cruz, and the Orioles rookie stars, National League rookie stars, it's not really any of the any of the big ones were New Age Performer, Castillo, and Yellish. Murphy, Foreman, and Dickerson. Yeah, don't look like we really got much out of that one either. And with the prize point. I would say this is probably the worst. You do have a new age performer insert and no short prints in that pack. So, with the price point being in the middle of the two, I would say definitely the packs may not be the uh, way to go. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it to the hanger box. And this price point is about 33 cents a card, so. <clears throat> Set this over to the side. And well, I don't like the vacuum seal the wrap around it makes it a little hard to get off so let's see if we can't run through these and hopefully find a little bit better than the packs the dime back rookie stars young and gallon hat now there you go lux and a dustin may rookie dodgers rookie now that is definitely a card to hang on to Home run leaders, Pete Alonzo, Cody Berenger, that is Rangers rookie, rookies, Solik, a good second baseman, and Burke, Smith. Tanaka, Albert Pujols, Garber, and on down the line. And we got a flashback of Archie Bunker and All in the Family, 1971. So anything in there. National League batting leaders, Yellish, Rando and Mark, Karen Judd, that's a nice card, Rolling 
Game 6 in the World Series. Paddock. Eaton. Cooper. Hernandez. Weaver. Boslo. And the rookie stars for the Padres. And let's see if I run through these real quick. See if we got any short prints with them. And there's one. One short print. And again, only one short print. So, and then that leaves us with a price point of thirty dollars a card. Not thirty dollars, thirty cents a card. I wish the value was the value was not to buy. Twins rookies. Blanco. Matt Adams. Marlon rookies. Yamamoto and Diaz. Them out. Rails. Polo Grounds with Willie Mays. through and see if we got any short press before we get a full box going here. There's one right there. There's one short print. And we got a little bit of color on it. Zimmerman. <clears throat> ERA leaders. Cole, Verlander, and Morton. Show a little bit of a back to them. And there's the colors. Cody Siegler. Shortstop. That is numbered 36. Uh, 571. Uh, that's a nice hit. Uh, go ahead and bring him on up here, too. Pitching leaders in the National League James, Pam. Then the Indian rookies, Bradley, Ryan. 
Royals and Rookies. Solar. Vaddy Jr. Gold Cup. All-Star Rookie. Miggy. And Martin to finish that off. Let's see. Do more of these, and we'll uh, <laughs> won't have to flip through the <clears throat> flip through them. You'll do enough of them. You know which ones that are above 400. Enrod, Yellish, Daredevil, Evil Can Evil, 1970. <clears throat> And then the scratch off, which uh, I'm not going to go through and try to do it. <clears throat> but you can play the game. Scratch off. Each people takes turns, three outs, and the next person's up. So. Carpenter. And I don't believe that any of those were short prints. And nope. Was not. Two packs left. And see Reynolds, Mats, Sanchez. And no sh short print on that. So we're averaging one short print. One for the pack. <clears throat> uh, game three. Little series. Lanko. We've seen his. Winkler. Bruce Harper. Well, that's another nice one. And that is a short print. That's what I thought. That's definitely another short print of Bruce Harper. Bernhardt. And I don't believe any of those were short prints either. Any, other, any more of them. And no. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It looks like the uh, the best value in the 2020 uh, heritage would be the uh, blaster box for 20 about 21 dollars for the box, 75 cards give you about 30 cents per card price point. So and it looks like you got a little bit more out of it. You got a couple of good. Uh, Good star players, a couple uh, You got a Harper uh, short print, a Vladdy Jr. short print. There is short print, and that's off the hanger box. And I believe, yeah. So out of the, uh, the two packs, the hanger box and, and the uh, blaster box, we got three four short prints, Aaron Judd, a couple of decent rookie cards, and a chrome, Sigur, numbered 36 to uh, uh, 571, so that was a nice hit. So again, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And ring that notification bell and you get all my upcoming videos. We just uh, we just posted a few, a uh, couple of pretty good throwback Thursdays. Uh, football and baseball. Uh, 89s, 90s, 91 baseball, 88, 
uh, excuse me, 89 football, 90 football, so all tops. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you can, and we will see you next time.